It's killing too many people. It definitely has to stop. It needs to stop now. A plea from loved ones tonight after a 15 year old San Carlos teen dies from a suspected fentanyl overdose. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out, detectives will be taking a close look at a photo she posted on Instagram hours before she died. It feels unreal. Oh no, my heart drops every day. Nine days later, Talina Garrett says the feeling of emptiness won't go away. Like a big hole in my heart. Two Fridays ago, her only sibling, LaTanya, who had just turned 15, had a friend sleeping over at her home in San Carlos when that friend rushed into their mom's room. Around 5 a.m., uh, her friend told my mom that she's not, she wasn't waking up. Garrett says LaTanya wasn't breathing. 911 operators instructed their mom on CPR, but when paramedics arrived, LaTanya was pronounced dead. Lost a beautiful soul. Garrett calls her sister, a ninth grader at the Charter School of San Diego. Very energized, very sassy. A determined girl with big dreams of owning a hair salon one day. LaTanya on the right was always roping her sister into TikTok dance challenges. Come to my room and be like, oh, go learn the dance. We gotta, come on, come on, come on, come on. A bright young life cut short by a possible overdose. Garrett says while there were some signs of concern. She slept a lot. My mom was getting worried about that. Loved ones had no idea of any possible drug use. Garrett says hours before LaTanya died, her sister posted this photo of two pills on Instagram. And the detective said it looked like fentanyl. LaTanya's autopsy is not yet complete. Garrett says a police investigation is underway. In 2021, fentanyl overdoses killed 812 people in the county. So far this year, we've already surpassed that number in the first six months alone. People want to numb a feeling or like want to party or just to be cool. It's not cool. Garrett hopes by sharing LaTanya's story, she can help another family avoid her heartbreak make people realize like, oh, this is not a game. Like this is really serious and this is really killing people. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Anyone with information on this case is asked to call Crime Stoppers. A GoFundMe campaign has been set up to help the family with funeral expenses. There is a link on our homepage at 10news.com.